Hello dear students, welcome to Axiomatic course. This video is the part of the solution series for IIT Jam 2020. So we are here with this problem 31. It's a problem of section B. Uh, so that means that more than one answer may be correct. So let us have a look. Let ABC belongs to R such that A is less than B, B is less than C. Which of the following is are true for any continuous function? So please focus on this word true for any continuous function f from r to r satisfying this condition. So what question is asking among these four conditions which will be true for every continuous function on r. Alright. So now uh, let us have a look on a option. There exists alpha belongs to open interval a comma c such that f of alpha is alpha. All right. That means your question is talking about the fixed point. So this thing is actually called fixed point. Now the B option is similarly talking about the fixed point and we will talk about C and D later. All right. So now let us proceed. So firstly, let us write what is given to us. It's given to us that f from r to r is continuous. All right, this is given. Second thing that is given is a is less than b is less than c. And the third thing is given to us that f of a will be b, f of b will be c, and f of c will be a. These are the three things. Uh, which is given to us. All right. Now what we have to do, we have to check whether the a option A is correct or not. So let us see it graphically first because in the exam, you will always be doing it graphically because it's it's much better way to understand this question. All right. So doing graphically is a uh, is little bit good. But after that, we will do a mathematical proof for it. So let us say this is your x axis and this is your y axis. Now let me draw a line y is equal to x. All right. So I am drawing the line y is equal to my oh, y is equal to x. All right. Uh, sorry. So what I am doing, I am drawing the line y is equal to x. Why I am doing that, I will be telling you later. All right, so this is your line y is equal to x. Let us color it. All right, so this is line y is equal to x. Now, why, why is this line so important in this question? So I will, uh, I will state this that suppose fx is a curve or, or a function. All right, suppose fx is a function. Now, if this the graph of this function cuts the x axis, then that function has a fixed point. All right. So if fx is a function and you are drawing its graph and if, if it cuts this line y is equal to x, then we say that it has a fixed point. Are you getting y1? So this is why this line y is equal to x is so important. Now let us mark a, b and c on the x-axis and also on the y-axis. All right. Now see what is f of a, f of a is b, so it's somewhere here, alright, it's somewhere here, alright, so what is f of b, f of b is c, it's somewhere here, what is f of c, it's, it's here, why it is here, because the, the reason which lies below this line y is equal to x, is the reason where x coordinate is bigger and y coordinate is smaller. So in this reason, x coordinate will be always bigger. All right. Without loss of generality, I am considering a, b and c to be positive. All right. It's not given to us that it's positive. But for, for understanding thing, we are doing this. Now, c, f of c is a. That means c being bigger coordinate the answer is small that means it will lie here in this reason in the in this case x coordinate is smaller and c is bigger therefore it is lying above the above the line y is equal to x 
and same thing is happening with this at uh, are you getting my point so two point will lie above the x axis uh, above the x y uh, x uh, y is equal to x line and one point will lie below the y axis now what you have to do your fx function is continuous that means you have to join these three points all right now if you are joining these three point then you cannot skip this line y is equal to x you have to draw it like this are you getting my point it may be curved or something else but you have to cut this x axis once all right so at least once you have to cut it that is why we can say that it will have a fixed point are you getting my point so this is your curve fx so now from here we are clear that your function will have a fixed point we are doing mathematical proof for it all right now i am considering my function g from r to r all right and let us write gx is equal to fx minus x all right so now calculate g of a g of a will be f of a minus a so f of a minus a c b is bigger and a is smaller so this thing f of a is b it's b actually b minus a so it's greater than zero now calculate uh, what now calculate g of c it will be f of c minus uh, c f of c is a so it's a minus c a is a smaller number and c is a bigger so this thing will be less than zero so now c we have taken g a continuous function because it's 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 the addition of two continuous function all right subtraction or addition you can say both the functions are continuous therefore g is continuous g is a continuous and g of a is greater than zero and g of c is less than zero what is the meaning of this thing we have a continuous function such that g of a is bigger and g of bigger not bigger uh, negative g of a is sorry it's it's positive g of a is what g of a is positive and g of c is somewhere here now you want to draw a continuous function in between them that means it has to cross the x axis crossing x axis actually means that it will have a root that means there this will imply there exists c not, not let us write alpha there exists alpha in between a comma c such that g of alpha is zero i'm talking about this point this point is alpha comma zero all right now g of alpha is alpha that zero that means f of alpha minus alpha is zero so from here f of alpha is alpha so we got a point so this is the formal mathematical proof to show that your function will have a fixed point all right that is why your a option is correct now i think that it's pretty clear in your mind that what we are doing why we are doing this all right now let us do quickly b c and d see in the b option what is given to you that b is in between a and b and you want f of beta to be beta so what what are a and b a and b is this that means question is talking about this and this point all right these two points this point and this point question is talking about these two point so do you think that the curve the function that you have the, the graph of this function will cut x axis in between these two do you think this in between a and b will this graph of your function is going to cut y is equal to x no it's not going to cut so what is the counter that you will be taking you will be taking the straight line between these two point what is this point this point is a comma b what is this point this point is b comma c so just write the straight line and using the straight line equation you can show that it's not going to have a fixed point all right so i am leaving this as an exercise for you firstly write the equation write the equation of line in between what in between a b and b c now you see the straight line will be this so it's not going to cut this x axis 
so from here you are pretty clear that this will be your counter so we got a function such that in between a b we have no fixed point are you getting my point and what is that function the function is the straight line function all right i can just write answer for you so y is equal to c plus uh, c minus b over b minus a over x minus b so this will be your function fx is equal to so it's not going to have a fixed point it's pretty clear from the graph now let us talk about c and d option so in the c option i will be using the same trick again again consider g a function from r to r given by g of x is equal to f of f of x minus x all right so in the similar way in the a option we consider this as f but now we will consider this as f o f all right the same trick so c g of a what is g of a g of a is f of f of a which is equal to f of f of a what is f of a from this one it's b so b what is f of b all right uh, sorry i missed minus a there all right because we have minus x also so it will be minus a then equal to so f of b minus a so what is f of b f of b is c so you are getting c minus a so it's greater than zero because c is a bigger number but this thing will not work with b also why because you will get f of f of b minus b so it will be f of c using this f of b is c and what is f of c f of c is a so a minus b you are getting here so it's less than zero so you again have a continuous function why g is continuous because f of f is continuous because we know that composition of two continuous functions is continuous so being f continuous we will get f of f continuous this is also continuous so the difference will be continuous so g is a uh, is a is a addition or you can say subtraction of two continuous functions so it will be continuous so again that case arrive here that in between a and b in between a and b you have g of a to be bigger than 0 and g of b to be lesser than 0 so it has to cut x axis the same thing all right the same principle therefore we will get from this one there exist gamma they are representing such that g of gamma is 0 now g of gamma is 0 actually means f of f of gamma is equal to gamma are you getting my point or not so it's very easy question not difficult totally dependent upon the graph all right d option is very easy because we know that a option is correct right we know a is correct this is what we know this actually means that there exists alpha belonging to a comma c such that f of alpha is alpha this we know all right now we have this f of f of f of uh, this f of f of x this function what i will do in i will place alpha in place of x what i will get using this i will get f of f of uh, alpha that means i will get f of alpha which will get f of alpha that means image of this composition three composition that we have on alpha will give us alpha so what is delta in your case then delta is itself alpha because alpha is in between a and c so the same alpha that you are you are working in the a option will also work for this this option all right are you getting my point so this is how we can prove that in the d option we will still have a fixed point and that fixed point will be same as the fixed point that we used in the option a all right so the same fixed point will work for the d option so we proved that a is correct we give we give a contradiction for the b option that we will have a straight line all right we talk about straight line only in between these you you have to draw something else here in between this one we draw a straight line and we got that straight line will not cut this 
this y is equal to x line in between a and b that's why b was incorrect c was correct we prove it and d was correct using a option so that is why a c and d are your correct options so pretty long video but uh, in order to make everything clear to you we have to make these long videos all right so thank you